We have shown experimentally in a real world setting that it is possible to use two beams of incoherent radio waves transmitted on the same frequency but encoded in two different orbital angular momentum states to simultaneously transmit to independent radio channels. This novel radio technique allows the implementation of, in principle, an infinite number of channels in a given fixed bandwidth, even without using polarization, multiport, or dense coding techniques. This paves the way for innovative techniques in radio science and entirely new paradigms in radio communication protocols that might offer a possible solution to the problem of radio hand band congestion. The first radio signal transmitted and received by Guglielmo Marconi on the 8th of December 1895 started the wireless communication revolution in our modern world. Before 900, radio receivers had only limited tuning ability. There was no effective way of discriminating between the signals of trans simultaneous transmitters. In 1903, Guglielmo Marconi announced the possibility of transmitting simultaneously radiotelegraphic transmissions by dividing the electromagnetic spectrum in bands. In 1909, the tuner was patented and sent to production. Nowadays, information is mostly exchanged through wireless channels and the rapid increase of the use of mobile devices has led to a congestion of the available radio bands, even after the application of dense coding and channel sharing techniques. Therefore, it is important to try to develop new methods that make it possible to utilize the electromagnetic spectrum better than today. One way is to exploit fundamental physical properties of the electromagnetic field that hitherto have not been utilized in radio communication. One example is the orbital angular momentum of the electromagnetic field. The orbital angular momentum is a fundamental property, a fundamental physical quantity that spans a discrete infinite space. It offers additional degrees of freedom without increasing the frequency bandwidth. Electromagnetic waves carrying orbital angular momentum that can be generated by particular uh, spiral phase masks can give inf an infinite, ideally an infinite number of new natural channels in each frequency band, a sort of vertical tuning. So, from the tuning of Guglielmo Marconi, we can imagine a hyper-tuning with the use of OAM states. This means that we can increase the capacity of each channel, ideally to the infinite. For this reason, we built up a helicoidal parabolic antenna to generate twisted radio waves and this is the radio vortex core generated by this particular antenna mapped after 50 meters of propagation. After this first test, we made the first outdoor experiment and propagated the beam over the basin of San Marco in Venice. And we had a sure hand of help from the Radio Amateur Association in Venice. So, uh, from Guglielmo Marconi himself, we had an example of uh, testing that also twisted waves can propagate to the far field zone. The outdoor radio experiments were made in the 2.4 GHz Wi Fi band, and we demonstrated the feasibility of increasing the wireless information transfer capacity over large distances by exploiting the orbital angular momentum states of the electromagnetic waves. So orbital angular momentum 
is preserved throughout the entire long distance propagation be utilized in radio communication. Fin dal 1895, all'inizio cioè dei miei primi esperimenti, io ebbi la forte intuizione, direi quasi la visione chiara e sicura, che le trasmissioni radiotelegrafiche sarebbero state possibili attraverso le più grandi distanze. In our radio vorticity communication experiments, we generated and detected two orthogonal OEM channels within a fixed frequency band, and one channel was untwisted with orbital angular momentum zero, and the other has one twist. For this reason, in order to have a simple, straightforward and practical method to discriminate the two channels, we transmitted on the same carrier frequency in frequency modulations two audio signals at different modulation frequencies of 400 Hz and 1000 Hz for the untwisted and twisted wave respectively. The final result of this experiment were publicly demonstrated on the 24th of June 2011 in Piazza San Marco, Venice in the presence of international press, expert personalities and the general public. Light and sound show with a projection on the facade of Palazzo Ducale explained to the audience what we, the experimenters were doing. More than 2,000 people attended the live experiment. And when the signal was tuned from vorticity zero to vorticity one, a rifle shot was heard in honor of the first radio transmission made by Guglielmo Marconi in 1895. After this, on the facade of Palazzo Ducale, the word signale ricevuto, which means signal received, were projected.
Thank you.